How's it going everyone? My name is Vertic and for this video we're going to take a look at how to glitch this image. So the first thing you want to do is have Photoshop open, drag this into Photoshop. If you can't do it this way you can go to file and open, that works just the same. Once you've got yourself the image you want to left click on the lock to make sure it's a layer. First of all what we're going to do is we're going to press Ctrl J three times. The reason for this is because we're going to split the channels so we have them separate. What you want to do is you want to hide the other two on the top and then you want to start off with layer zero copy. Right click on it and then go to blending options. In the blending options these are the main settings that you will have. So you want to go where it says channels and then untick this one and untick the blue as well. Once you've done that, you then go ahead and move this one to the left or the right, depending on where you want to move it. Next up, we're going to unhide this one and then same as last time, blending options, untick the red and untick the blue. So you have green. And now that you've got green, move it to where you want. You can use the arrow keys and hold shift. And this just moves it to the left or to the right, wherever you want it. The very last one, unhide this one blend in options and then untick the first two. So now you have blue and with the blue, we're going to move it slightly this way, like so. And that is looking not too bad so far. Once you've done that, you want to hold shift by having the top one selected and then click on the bottom one. And then you want to press control J to get yourself a copy of all them layers. Once you've done that, you create yourself a group, hide these ones, and then right click on the group and convert smart object. The reason for this is if you do anything wrong, you can always go back to your backup, which is the original ones right here. You can even group them if you wanted to. So this is the original and then this is your group one. Next thing to do is glitch this image. So you can glitch this by getting yourself the selection tool, which is the second one, and then just cutting blocks out. Just select areas, press control J, and then using the shift key and arrow keys, you can move it to the right or to the left. And pretty much you just want to be destructive with this image. The more destructive you are, the more glitchy it will look and the more better it will look. So just move things here and there. Every time you get yourself a copy, you must select the group one. Otherwise you won't be able to. All right, so now that we've done this, the next thing that I'm going to add is some other effects. So first of all, we're gonna start off with a glitch white lines. This is something that is quite simple to do. All you gotta do is download it. So to stretch it to the screen, you press control T and then size it so it's big enough. And then you want to make sure it's on top of it go through the effects and see which one you prefer. What you want to do is you want to set this one on screen 77% and then this one on overlay and turn it down to about, let's say 50%. All right, so here's the cool part. What you want to do is you want to keep on adjusting the brightness and contrast. So if you increase the contrast to a much higher number, it will look a lot better. And you can turn down the brightness or you can leave it as it is. The other thing that you can do is you can increase the saturation. So this is the bar right here. So the more color, the better it will look. And another cool thing that you can do is you see the hue bar right here. Well, you can play around with it and this will make it pick up different colors. So depending on the type of glitch you're looking for, this can help you out a lot because this just plays about with the colors and it is really simple to edit. It makes it easy to get yourself some different colors into your glitch. And the very last one, what we can do is get ourselves a filter and go down to sharpness. So sharpen this image and there we go. 